All righty. Uh, I'll tell you what, it's been fun up until now, but uh, we've got mm. to delve into some very, very serious issues, folks, as we roll the open up. What caught my eye? Kick us off, William. Well, we love Mitch Robertson on here. He's one of our favourites, but he is crazy. Have a look <laughs> at this with his mouth guard. He, he, he wanted to kick a goal here in his 100th game for the Lions, and it's Gleeson, I think. Look at this, he throws that. <laughs> he throws that the length of the field. That's one of the best throws you'll ever see. That would hit Gleeson on the back of the head. It would have nearly killed him. Have a look at him here. That is a very good I throw. Tell you, we have seen some good fielding. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be a run out. That's straight over, run him out, you're out. That is good, which took us back to old mate Robbie Muir. We love oh, look at Robbie Muir here. He pulls the mouth guard out one. He throws it there. Then the umpires come up. And have a look at the little umpires in their tight shorts. Robbie just going mad. And he'll pick it up again here in a minute. There's two umpires in there. He goes again. And he, what's he going to do with it? He throws it down again. That's twice. And look at the umpires following him around. Picks up the mouth guard again and goes again. <laughs> On you, Robbie. Ah, uh, dear. Now, Kane. Uh, look, I think it's fair to say that you're one of the more hard-hitting commentators in football these days. Uh, you certainly like to tell it how it is. I think you'd agree with that, wouldn't you, Kane? Yeah, I'd agree with that, TJ. <laughs> and you would, uh, you would agree that you know sometimes uh, your commentary and your narrative about individuals might hurt those individuals on occasions? I mean, it might ring true. Would you agree with that? I feel like I'm in court under cross-examination here. Yeah, yes, I'd agree. That. Okay. All right. Well, I want you to have a look at this bit of evidence that uh, I've brought to the uh, courtroom this morning. Exhibit Because a. it's very much a case of uh, do as I say, not as I do. This is you in your playing day. You're interviewed by um, Corey Wingard, who's now the sports minister in South Australia, I understand. And, oh, poor old Kane. He's uh, being picked on in the media. Have a look at this. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no doubt heard about the criticism on Talkback Radio and read about it in the papers. Is that sort of criticism hurtful to a footballer? Uh, it's not nice to read, um, to be honest, but um, that's the, their job in the media. They have to have an opinion, and certainly Dale Lewis, I, I respect his opinion. He was a pretty handy AFL player, so uh, you've got to respect their opinion, but um, you know, the people that I really listen to is my midfield coach, Matthew Primus, and, and obviously Mark Williams and my teammates. Oh, so oh. it's all right for you to sit here week in, week out on your radio show and everywhere else and just take cheap pot shots, but when it was you and your playing day, like... <laughs> wisdom teeth I out. just said yeah. they've got a job to do. They've got a job to do and that they, they have every right to their oh. opinion. Well, you can see that chubby kid too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, he wasn't running 3,000 oh, kilometres a week, yeah. then, was he? Yeah, anyway. TJ, TJ, I was watching Channel 9 News last night. Oh, it it dawned on me. It oh, dawned what on happened? me. What happened? The Alicias are taking over the world. This is Alicia Lossley throwing to Alicia Muling, oh. talking about Alicia Mollick. Oh. Coach Nathan Buckley admitted to playing tennis with former Aussie star Alicia Mollick. Let's go live now to Alicia Muling with the details. Alicia, the league is certainly taking a stand. Absolutely, Alicia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, best day, mate. They're taking over, too. Well, very, yeah, nice. yeah. very warm. Yeah, very warm. <laughs> Alicia they Lawson. do a very good job, don't they? They definitely do a good job. Uh, hey, we did see the, the a clip a little bit earlier from Billy with Matthew Nix and the water bottles. Let's have some a quick look at this. Is Matthew Nix moving the water bottles around? So, a um, bit, of, bit of schoolyard stuff at the Crows yesterday. But it did get me thinking, and I always think about ways I can educate my kids. So, I sat them down and had a good conversation with them this morning. Oh, no. Oh, no. So, boys, oh. you just had the birds and the bees talk. I'm going to tell you about the most awkward moment in TV history. Tony Jones walked onto the set. This is TJ. This is Beck. He came between Hitch. He leads in for the kiss. Oh, and she leads away. Chompers. 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 Oh, very good. Oh, I, see, I, see you took the, I see you took him to the good room for that. Yeah. Yeah. Don't they have some fun this over there? This is you, TJ. Yeah, so, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we got it, Kane. So do we. Yes, that's right. And a cheap bottle, too. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> If we'd actually done that with you, Kane, we'd have a bottle of vinegar. Oh. Now, we've had a couple of weeks where we've shown Matty Lloyd oh, being a sex symbol. Unfortunately no, for you, Lord, no, no, there's not no more. more vision. Oh. That's it. There's no more vision. Good. But it did get 
a lot of people on social media sending some oh, stuff no. in, and there was a lot of stuff sent in. Have a look at this one. <laughs> Lord, Have you listen, eh? boys. Oh. <laughs> Have a look at you at the back oh, there as well. Have a look at Ernie no. up the back. Now, where the footy trips in where? Oh, we're in Thailand. <laughs> in Thailand. Oh, now, look, 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 how many breezes yet? What's oh, wrong with you? I had a big night that well, night. Oh, that's <laughs> Mark McVeigh at the front. Yeah. Yeah. Mark Why McVeigh. is his head out of proportion yeah. to his body? I don't know. So they even had time later on on this footy trip in Thailand to do a photo shoot. Have a look at this one. Here's Lloyd, he's just in the pool there. So then we just scan across. There's Lloyd. There's, there's Spike. There's Ernie at the back there. And watch Lloydie come out of the pool Where's there. Lorda? Watch Lloydie. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too much time oh, ahead. Yeah. You were looking very <laughs> uncomfortable there for a moment, Lloyd. Sunday yeah. footy show, but uh, obviously you've seen what I've been up to the last decade or two. You know, I was trying to be that sex symbol, which has been <laughs> brought to light the last couple of weeks. But uh, what was Nathan Brown up to? I he was a bit of a creep in his last decade. Here oh, he is. No. Oh, oh, yeah. The trainer. Well, he did work some magic uh, yeah. there at Topsy. He's smiling yeah. his brother. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people say you do drink your own bath water. Yeah. And that is true. Yeah. Tell you another photo I found during the week of Nathan Brown uh, drinking his own bath water. What were you actually? Oh, what is Nathan? that? What is that? <laughs> what was it? Really? One of those. No. Uh, that was Michael Dodge. He's got everyone in the AFL just about Dodgy. And he came, uh, he came up with doing? that idea and somehow I agree with it. What, was the, what was yeah, the theme? It was the torture pallet type thing when I was a young fella, Lordo. And uh, they brought that up on the on the sports bet podcast during the week, and it's not great. Is it? Maybe, no. maybe, maybe what it was a story about how you were having a bath just before you were getting towed up. Oh. <laughs> I'd leave the funny stuff. Yeah. On. <laughs> Number eighty. <laughs>